Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at some of the stories we're following tonight. A Flint water crisis case delayed again. Court records from the Eastern District of Michigan show the Bellwether trial has been pushed back. The case is supposed to determine if Veolia North America, a water engineering firm, was professionally negligent for its role in the Flint water crisis. Veolia North America has claimed Flint and state officials are to blame. Jury selection for the trial was initially supposed to happen on October 8th but that was delayed until the 29th. The trial does not have a start date yet. Stay with TV5 for updates. Ahead of the cold winter months, people in the city of Saginaw could get their furnace replaced for free. The city is using American Rescue Plan dollars to offer replacements for furnaces that are more than 20 years old. To qualify, you must be a city resident and allow fall and also fall below the ARPA household income limit. Applications are accepted until November 4th. To find out now, if you're eligible or to apply, go to this story on WNEM.com. Watch yourself. Oh you kick through the windshield. Officers rescuing a woman from a fiery crash. The heart pounding video from Mount Pleasant Sunday night after a rollover. The single car crash happened shortly before 10 on North Mission Road. You can see the moment that police break the glass, pulling the 22 year old driver from Sterling Heights to safety. Mount Pleasant Public Safety says she was the only one in the car and was treated for minor injuries. Now here's Chris with your first alert forecast. Bag temperatures tonight are expected to remain on the warm side in the 60s. And then tomorrow, it is another day of potentially record breaking temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 in our warmest locations. We also expect a chance for rain to return on Halloween, but that's not the case for tonight, even with some clouds moving overhead this evening. Showers and thunderstorms from early this morning, those are long gone. Now, Wednesday itself should be dry. We'll have chances for showers return as we go into Thursday morning, likely scattered at first, and then a chance to become a bit more widespread into the early part parts of the afternoon. Those showers and storms will move out as we get closer to the evening hours and it still appears that most if not all of us will be dry for trick or treat times. The exception could be a few showers that linger in the thumb. We will be watching the potential on Thursday afternoon for a few strong storms. Wind gusts would be the main hazard along with some hail potential, but overall we expect this to also be gone by the time trick or treating gets underway. We'll keep you updated if there are any changes tomorrow. We expect wind gusts to be between 30 and 35 miles per hour, so avoid burning even if you're not under a burn ban just because of the gusts that will be blowing things around. And then also the next couple of days, make sure that uh, you're also securing those decorations that might be outside also. Your forecast for the next seven days shows a drier day Friday, beautiful day, but cooler in the low 50s. And then as we get closer to the weekend, it's likely middle to upper 50s with some 60s early next week and also an increasing chance for rain Monday and Tuesday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.